Now, two financial officers of uh, firms have been advised to unnest the power of knowledge, innovation and collaboration to drive transformational, uh, transformational change and unlock the opportunities for growth and sources. This advice was given by the Dean of Lagos Business School, Professor Chris Agweche at the maiden edition of the school's CFO Leadership Summit, which held in Lagos. Details in this report. Or setting exposure or setting compliance gaps. The Chief Financial Officer is engaged in communication with critical stakeholders, including the C-suite, colleagues, boss, regulators and investors, among others, thus requiring big picture and strategic alignment in the overall vision and execution of the firm led by the Chief Executive Officer, the CEO. It is against this background that this maiden CFO Leadership Summit tagged the CFO as strategic architect, maximizing the CEO-CFO synergy, which is put together by the Lagos Business School, is apt. Now, according to today's team, which is um, the relationship between the CFO and getting that strategic synergy partnership together, um, I would like to start from the point where you know the environment is challenging. It's not a, a typical environment that we exist in. Um, so the role that the CEO and the CFO play is quite key. The organizers say the objective is to deepen the leadership horizon of the CFO as a strategic partner of the CEO in delivery of the goals of the firm. The Dean of the Lagos Business School, Professor Chris Obeche, says it is through events like these that the school affirms its dedication to driving positive virtues and shaping the future of business and the society. Together, let us harness the power of knowledge, innovation, and collaboration to drive transformational impact and unlock new opportunities for growth and success in our organization. As we embark on this journey together, we also stand at a tipping point where in the African continental free trade area, considered to be the world's largest free trade area by the number of participating countries, is unfolding. AFTCA aims to boost inter-African trade by reducing tariffs and other trade barriers. So my question is, for some time now, blockchain technology has existed. Uh, why is blockchain technology not commonly used in Nigeria? Participants get an invaluable opportunity to engage in insightful discussions, gain fresh perspective and exchange best practices that will undoubtedly shape the future of their firms, the nation's economy and the continent. So it's really important to have a strategy within the organization, but also addressing some gap in terms of JAPA. This would be, should be a continuous engagement. Um, and it's also not cheap. Eh? That tech is quite expensive and complex. And when you don't understand something, sometimes people just take a back seat. They want you know, some other people to pioneer it, run with it, and then you can learn. Speakers, panelists and experts drawn from diverse business sectors in Africa share their experience and expertise on the theme of the summit against the background of the latest trends, challenges and opportunities. Secondly, as both custodians of financial information, CFOs possess a web of data that can provide valuable insights into the organization performance. By harnessing the power of data analytics and leveraging predictive modeling. The LBS CFO Summit is also a platform for fostering collaboration among peers and building relationships that will endure long after the program concludes.